in this lecture we are going to study about introduction and definitions of dielectric material this is unit 5 lecture 1 what are dielectric materials dielectric materials are insulators with no free electrons when placed in electric field they are polarized that is a very unique property of these materials they are non-conductors of electricity with special properties in the presence of electric field. What is the special property? They get polarized. We shall see some examples like glass, mica, polymers. All these are examples of dielectric materials. Now, dielectric materials may be classified as either polar or non-polar. What is polar? As you would see in the diagram, example of HCl, there is already a dipole that is existing between H plus and Cl minus. Such materials are called as polar dielectrics. So what is the definition? A polar molecule is one in which the center of gravity of the positive charge is separated by a finite distance from the center of gravity of the negative charge. They have a permanent dipole moment. Polarization of molecules strongly depends on temperature. So you can see in both HCl and H2O, a dipole is already existing. So such type of materials are called as polar dielectrics. What are non-polar? A non-polar non molecule is one in which the center of gravity of the positive charge and negative charge coincide. That is, they act at the same point. We know that the center of gravity of the nucleus positive charges is at the center. Likewise, the center of gravity of all the electrons is also acting at the center. So there is no distance between the center of positive charge and center of negative charge. They do not have permanent dipole moment. The polarization of non-polar molecules is independent of temperature. Examples of oxygen molecule H2N2. From this we can see what is an electric dipole. As you would see, Q is the magnitude of the charge. One is positively charged, other is negatively charged with a distance between them. D is the distance between them. So two equal and opposite charges, small in magnitude and separated by a small distance constitutes an electric dipole. It is a vector and the direction is from negative to positive charge. You can see here the direction is from negative to the positive charge. It is a product of magnitude of charge and the distance between the two charges. So it's a vector is equal to Q into D where Q is the magnitude of the charge and D is the distance between the charges. Now, we can see what is a dielectric constant or relative permittivity. Dielectric constant is a ratio between the permittivity of the medium to the permittivity of free space given by epsilon r is equal to epsilon by epsilon naught. Epsilon is the permittivity of the medium and epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space. It is also defined as a capacitance of the capacitor with a dielectric to capacitance of the same capacitor without dielectric. So K is equal to C by C naught. So here we are seeing about dielectric constant or relative permittivity given as K or epsilon R. It is a measure of the electric polarization in the dielectric material and it has no units. Materials with a higher dielectric constant are easily polarized and behave as good electric insulators. Next, we shall see what is electric field and electric flux. So, you can see here a positive charge, here a negative charge. Positive charge, you can see the lines are drawn out. Why? If you take a unit positive charge and place it close to this positive charge, it experiences a force of repulsion. So, it is a path taken by it. Whereas if you place that unit positive charge close to the negative charge, it experiences a force of attraction. So it is a path taken towards the negative charge. Electric field is the space around the charge where its influence can be felt. Electric flux is the total number of electric field lines coming out from a charge and is measured in Coulomb. Now, what is electric flux density, also called as a displacement vector? 
is the normal flux per unit area or d is equal to flux by area and measured in coulomb per meter square we also have a formula d is equal to epsilon e where e is the electric field strength and epsilon is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r we have seen this in the definition substituting over here we get d v is equal to epsilon e or now it becomes d is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r into e we take it as some expression number one in dielectric material polarization occurs and the flux density has a value given by d is equal to epsilon naught e plus p p is the polarization so we take this as some expression number two when you equate expression number one is equal to expression number two and taking p aside we get p is equal to epsilon naught into e within brackets epsilon r minus one this epsilon r minus one is the electric susceptibility cool. so now we get p is equal to epsilon naught into capital e into the electric susceptibility what does this electrical susceptibility tell you it indicates the degree of polarization of a dielectric material in response to a applied electric field you can also see what is polarization now after studying the entire thing what is polarization the process of producing electric dipoles which are oriented along the field direction is called polarization in dielectrics and what about polarization vector the dipole moment per unit volume of the dielectric material is called polarization vector p given by as p is equal to mu by v so in this lecture we have seen the various definitions associated with dielectric materials